What would you guess? First part would be. We can't love it. Well, let's see, 99%, huh? Yeah. Hmm. What does that stand for? It's topical. I'll give you a hint. 99. Oh, oh, I see. Sure, it's the uh, 99%. The 1%, the uh, out, out. Uh, occupy. Occupy. That's what I'm looking for. Occupy. What are you laughing at? So all the tents and the occupiers oh. and the fire pit and their protest signs and then the police cars police car that's a police car huh? yep. okay. and this is the mcdonald's that they all defecate in says who everybody knows everyone this. that's oh. what they do they go and they don't buy anything and they just use the bathroom i see there see there's a line there's a line for the bathroom See? I see that. And the 99%. <laughs> Should we turn it around? Yes. Okay, so the story is, I won't point it out, or you can point it as I talk. Santa oh. was coming back from a meeting with his investors. Obviously, it's very profitable as he's got money in his hands. And, I, and bling. Yeah, it's his bling chain, Let's Christmas see. colored. Uh -huh. uh, and it was foggy because it is the North Pole. And then it was, too, he is getting really close and he didn't realize until it was too late that there was an Occupy protest because going on in his front yard. Also the elves, you can't see them and they're inside the building, they're revolting. That's why the chimney's on fire. I see. see very fire-like. So anyways, he goes to eject, but he's too close it's so to the house. It's so real. He goes, he's too, he goes to eject, he's too close to the house. So his corporate jet, his personal corporate jet crashes into the plane, into the house. And then Santa himself crashes into the side of the house. Where's Santa? Oh, that's Santa there, I see. Little does he know, also at his house, the, uh, oops, careful. Uh, the Trump Republican debate is also going on. I see. And Trump, how is that? How is, oh, that's the Trump Tower. Trump Tower with uh, staircase of money. Trump with the hair and the orange skin. Oh, that's good hair. It looks just like him. Yep. There you go. And then uh, Cole can take you through all the individual candidates <laughs> because they are different. Uh, here we got uh, Rick Santorum, and there's uh, rainbow candy canes here because he's he loves the gays. Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. I see. It's ironic. Yes. Yeah. This one's Bachman. She's wearing a skirt. Uh, or Zalto pants. Yes. Or, or Jujubees. <laughs> this is uh, Ron Paul, because he's old. Got the white hair. This is Newt Gingrich, because his head is huge. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> this is Mitt Romney, because he used to kind of be more liberal, and thus has the flip-flopping blue tie. I see. This is Rick Perry, because he has the Texan hat on. I a hat. Yeah. Jaime hat, and this is uh, Huntsman. Because he has the special Mormon underwear. <laughs> and what are special Mormon underwear? Yes. You have to Google it. We did. <laughs> Is there really such a thing as Mormon oh, underwear? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Mormons have special underwear. Temple, temple wear, yeah. whatever they call it. Temple garments, yeah. They really do. You're serious. Yes. Yeah. No one else knew this besides me, but we, we Googled it. We need, well, we had a problem because we couldn't give Romney and Huntsman special underwear because it wouldn't... They needed to differentiate. Yeah, differentiate them. Well, I think we've set a new level of originality and creativity. Something like that. Oh, I'm glad I was a part of that. <laughs> and peculiarity. Um, okay, we should let it go, huh? <laughs>